Cancers, how are you? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. This is going to be your general love reading for April 11th, 2022. I hope you guys are doing well. It's lovely to see you all. Check out the description box if you want to inquire about booking a personal reading. If you want to purchase the extended reading for this read, all that information is below as well, as well as my social media information and how to become a member of this channel. Shout out to all the members. I love you guys. Let's go ahead and um, we're switching up the reads for this series. I'm doing past and current. So let's take a look at how your past or ex person feels about you. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the new or current person. Okay. So how does this past or ex person of yours feel about you? Or ex of yours feel about you? How does this past person or ex feel? Two of Pentacles in reverse. How else do they feel? Six of Pentacles. How else does this past person feel about you, Cancer? Queen of Wands. Page of Swords in reverse popped out. Okay, so some of you, it could be a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like they're still attracted to you, so they still keep tabs on you and what you're doing. I don't see them actually hitting you up. For some of you, something's going on with this person's finances or something right now. Um, I see, feel like they're trying to get their life in a little bit more order as far as financially. Because um, their life seems, I'm seeing some disorder in their life. Uh, let's see, how do you feel about this past person? Ace of Swords. Okay, how do you feel? I feel like you want to talk to them. Oh, you want to reconcile. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the fool is in reverse, though. So for some of you, it may just be kind of clearing the air type of thing. But I don't know if you would actually get back with this person, if you would actually take a risk and actually, like, you know what I mean? Get, like, deal with this person again on that level, just because you got the fool in reverse. So when I see the fool in reverse, that's about not really wanting to take a leap of faith in a direction. You know what I mean? For whatever reason. So like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like, you wouldn't go in that direction again with this person. Um, but for, for many of you, I see you do want to, you do want to reconcile though, because I'm seeing something about either reconciling or making up for some type of fight or something. And I see here, you do feel like there's some things y'all need to talk about. For a lot of you, I see a stress relief for you and this person. For many of you cancers, I feel like you and this person being separated or not being together. I feel like it, it, took stress off of both of your shoulders make sure you guys hit that like button too. show me some love leave me a comment share the video subscribe all that good stuff all right now let's go ahead and clarify let me see the two of uh pentacles in reverse here clarify this two of pentacles in reverse why is this here the hangman yeah i feel like this person has a lot of shit going on in their life i see them going through a hangman moment let me see the six of pentacles the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something's going on here. They're trying to get things in track. For some, everybody's situation is going to be different. For a lot of you, your past person is something going on with their finances, or there's just a lot of negative changes right now in their life. What does that have to do with you? Maybe that has to do with why they're not talking to you right now, or why they don't want to try to reach out. Let me see the Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Some of y'all, they walked away from you for somebody else, or I'm seeing they walked away from you. Something about walking away from you. And the devil is here. So for many of you, they walked away from you. That's Capricorn energy because of somebody else. Let me see the page of swords in reverse. That's not for everybody though. Three of swords in reverse. Yeah. They spy on you a lot. And then there it is again, page of cups. Them wanting, you know, to express, you know, hit you up or send you a message of emotion or something like that. They're very much so very attracted to you still. Um, I just don't see them doing anything. I feel like they have other factors in their life going on right now. Um, and that's just what I'm getting right now. In the extended, I'll look in the future and see what future actions they'll be taking. But right now, it seems like they're not doing anything with the hangman. Show me the ace of swords. Ten of wands. With the ten of cups in reverse. Yeah. You feel like this person was, you feel like this relationship or this connection was stressful. Show me the five of wands here in reverse. 
Oh, something toxic went down here. Show me the nine of wands in reverse. You're just trying to you're just trying to keep your distance. To a, yeah. Show me the fool in reverse here. Some of you, when you were dealing with this past person, your life was crazy. Yeah, six of cups in reverse. A lot of you are just trying to let go of the past, but I see a very small portion of you do feel like you and this ex need to have a conversation about something, but others of you, you're just kind of like, I know what it is. This is not the person for me. It didn't work out. It was, it was too toxic. It was too much something here. I had to free myself from that. I had to let it go. And I see a lot of you just wanting to let go of the past. See, the world is here as the mutual energy, which is about closing out cycles, ace of pentacles in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse, the hermit. Some of you, your ex or your past person could be a Virgo. Okay. And that doesn't mean with the five of cups here on the bottom, that doesn't mean that you don't miss this person. You don't care about this person or there's no disappointment on your end. There is for a lot of you, but I just feel like you think, you know, it just 10 of cups in reverse. It's just on top of the ace of swords is about you just got clarity like this just isn't what you this just wasn't what you wanted whatever this person was giving you and for some of you this turned into something toxic pretty pretty unhealthy yeah so i see somebody walked away here for a lot of you they walked away from you for somebody else um because sometimes the queen of wands can be the other woman or the other man uh for others of you maybe you walked away from them because it is coming out on top of you and it is showing me they're still attracted to you and they said some of y'all i just heard a liar like this person was a liar or they lied to you about something or they weren't honest to you and that could have came out because i'm seeing something about gossip for a very small portion of you around this past person some type of gossip drama okay let's look now at your current person your current or new person that you have around you let's see Ooh, because I freaking spilled my some of my acrylic. I think some of these, no, some of these cards stuck to each other. No, I don't want these to be ruined. I love these. They're stuck to each other. Look, look at that. Damn, I have to buy a new deck now. Yeah, I was doing my nails and I shouldn't have been doing my nails over in this area. And the acetone like fell out but i thought it only got on one card i wiped the card off it was fine i guess it got on all these other cards too damn that sucks okay let's get another deck then that's my main attack well, somebody actually bought that for me too um through my amazon wish list so shout out to that person they never told me who they were but they ordered that for me so i feel bad i hate when somebody gets me something like, I feel even more guilty when it's something when it came from somebody else. You know, and you fuck it up. Because it was me, it's like, that's eh, my money. <laughs> you know? Let's see here. Let's look at your newer current person. How does the newer current person feel about you, Cancer? Oh, King of Swords. Some of y'all, it's an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, everybody pulling the Queen of Wands for you, male or female. Very attractive energy you're pulling. Very confident. How does the new or current person feel about you, Cancer? Ooh, I like this. Some of y'all got more than one person. Some of y'all talking to more than one person right now. You got an air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And some of you possibly have a fire sign. I mean, did I say that right? You have either an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you have an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some of y'all got two people here, and I feel like both of them fuck with you. I feel like both of them fuck with you um, if you have more than one person you're talking to. But for many of you, it can just be one person. They see you as a match. Um, they see you and them as a match. But this is also the type of person that's trying not to go into it all touchy-feely, all about my feelings and how I feel. This is also somebody that's trying to think about this very logically, whoever they are. I see they have a lot of passion for you, but I feel like they also try to control it. All their cards are upright. This is somebody that knows what they want. You know what I mean? Um, let me see. How do you feel about this newer current person, Cancer? Oh, four wands in reverse. You don't know if this is somebody 
Ooh, the world. Some of y'all, it's a long distance thing. You don't know if this is somebody you can see yourself with being long term. Like being with long term. The three of pentacles. Okay. Some of y'all, it's a work situation. It's somebody from your job. I don't like that your mutual energy here is the four of cups. Because that's about a rejected offer. So what the fuck is going on? Because I feel like this person is all about you. And it's you that's the problem. I hate to say it like that, but. There's something here about commitment with this person that you either you don't see because the world is about closing out cycles. So I don't know if some of y'all think it's going to end. I don't let's let's go ahead and clarify. But your mutual energy, I don't like four cups. Like I said, that's about a rejected offer. Which deck do I want to use here? Let's use this one here. Show me the King of Swords, please. Emperor. Show me the Queen of Wands. The King of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion between you and this person. Show me the Seven of Pentacles. At least they have for you. Seven of Pentacles, same card. Show me the King of Wands. Some of y'all, this is a fire sign. King of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Cups. This person is really attracted to you. They're very interested in you. You just come off kind of cold towards this person. I, I don't get it. I don't get why you don't. It seems like you don't want this person. I'll be honest with you. Let me clarify. It seems like you don't want them because either you don't see something long term here. Show me the uh, four of wands here in reverse. Why is it in reverse? The nine of pentacles. The world. Clarify the world, please. Two of swords in reverse. Clarify the three of pentacles here. Clarify the three of pentacles. Oh. Show me the eight of swords in reverse. High Priestess. I think you're keeping all of this to yourself, too, Cancer. I don't even think this person knows. But you are trying to use your intuition. It's something having to do with you. Either A, some of you want to be single right now. Or, um, you know, you're comfortable being single right now. Some of you don't want a relationship. Some of you don't want something super serious right now. You just want to be single. You're comfortable being single, independent, nine of pentacles. But for a lot of you... You just don't see long term with this person. And I feel like you've thought about it for a while. Ten of Cups is in reverse. So some of you, this is somebody you work with. I keep seeing something about work with the Three of Pentacles. But I feel like the Three of Pentacles is kind of like my card. Like, yeah, we get along. But that doesn't mean that Ten of Cups in reverse. That doesn't mean that you're my happily ever after, though. Something's missing. Something's not here. Something's not giving you that emotional fulfillment with this person. That's why your mutual energy is the Four of Cups. Eight of Swords in reverse with the Five of Swords. Okay, you're showing me that you healed from something. I get it. You healed from the past. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. Page of Cups. Star in reverse. Some of y'all listen to Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like you got... I don't know. I feel like you got feelings, but... I mean, I feel like you feel a little something, something. feel like you feel a little something something but it ain't enough and then your person over here this current person they can feel your energy i think they can feel that you're not as into them as they're into you because this definitely feels like somebody who's way more into you um and you come off kind of like you know distant sometimes mm-hmm Mm -hmm. 
I keep getting like this person's trying to stay in control, but they have their feelings for you is strong. Like I'm not really seeing like emotions, feelings. I'm seeing more like just sexual attraction. But this this is somebody that sees you and them like as a match. King and Queen of Wands. They feel like you and them can actually get married or be long term. Seven of Pentacles here twice from two different tarot decks. That's strong energy. But this is about investing, giving your time into something, knowing that it's going to be worth it in the end. You're going to benefit. So this is somebody I feel like that wants something with you long term. This is somebody I feel like that wants to invest in you. And why is the four of cups here as the mutual energy? Let's clarify the four of cups. Why is the four of cups the mutual energy? The page of pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, I don't think that you're interested in this person. And it has something to do with either A, their career, their money, ten of pentacles in reverse, something with family or something with... Um, I don't know. Something with money, something with family, something... I don't know. I just don't see you into them. Like that. And I feel like they're into you. If you wanted to know, now you know. I don't know why you're talking about your work. I don't know why you're trying to use work as an excuse. Some of y'all are trying to use throughout work. I don't know what that has to do with this person. But you like somebody, you want to make it work. No matter what kind of job you got. So, um, let's go into the extended now, Cancer, okay? We're going to go ahead and do a full spread. Um, we'll look at the past person first and see what their future actions are going to be moving forward towards you in the future. Then we'll look at this current person, see what future actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you in the future. And then we'll pull you some Oracle advice cards. All right, Cancers, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. You take care. Stay strong. Be blessed. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Thanks for hitting that like button. Bye.